Hey guys, it's April here. So I think this is like the last video that you're going to have to watch before before you get into the, the actual content of the class. So I'm sorry if this welcome information has seemed really long. I just want to make sure that I'm setting you up for success right off of the bat. So what I want to show you is how you're going to access our class's textbook. It's an online textbook uh, provided by a company called Apex Learning, and it's an outside website. So you're going to be interacting with two websites in this class, with our IA Campus page, which you'll see right here, and the Apex textbook. Uh, so how you access that uh, is after you have done the welcome information, the everyday resources, you've checked out this tech stuff, uh, you're going to see a tab called Apex Access, right? And if you click this link, Apex Learning, it's going to ask that you click another link and open it in a new window. The reason I did that is because I wanted you to be able to jump back and forth between Apex Learning, uh, your textbook, and our IA Campus page. So I'm just going to click back onto Modules and that will take, uh, take us right back to the home page. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. Uh, this is our first unit, and um, this is a U.S. History 1.0 class. So this video applies to all of my U.S. History classes. U.S. History first semester, second semester, credit recovery, and 1.0. It's going to look exactly the same. Uh, this information is going to be a little bit different depending on what, what class you're in. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five assignments here for Unit 2, which is our first unit in U.S. History. These assignments are actually outlined in your Apex Learning class. So when you click that Apex Learning link, it's going to take you to your Apex dashboard. Um, you're going to have other classes other than U.S. History. You'll see a U.S. History and then you might see an English or a Math or a Science. Um, so you're just going to have to make sure that you cl click on the class that you're working in. So I'm going to click on U.S. History 1.0 and then it's going to bring down another link and you just go ahead and click that. And what you're going to see here is a list of all of the work that you have coming up in this semester. Uh, don't, don't worry about how long this is. This is, for, this is for a real specific class. But what I wanted to show you is that uh, these are, you can think of as a unit, right? So Becoming American is the unit. And here are the lessons in the unit. So 2.1 is a lesson. 2.2 is a lesson. 2.3 is a lesson. And in each lesson are uh, readings and quizzes and discussions and assignments that you will do throughout the semester to demonstrate your learning in U.S. history. The really great thing about um, Apex Learning is they have study guides that go with every reading. And also if you hover your uh, mouse or your cursor over a highlighted word, it's going to bring up the definition for you, right? Su super, super great thing. Anytime you see this icon or uh, a different icon up here, you're going to want to click it and open it. Uh, for this example, this is a, a study sheet. Now these study sheets are going to be priceless to you because you can use them on the quizzes. You can't go back and navigate in your textbook while you're taking a quiz, but you certainly can use this. So I recommend that you print this out and you handwrite, uh, you, you fill in the answers as you're going along in your reading, or you copy this information and paste it into like a Word document or a Google Doc and you take your notes as you go. Because uh, as you can see, following each study session is a quiz. Well, if you have just you know read this and you've taken your notes and then you use it on the quiz, you're going to do phenomenally well. Because uh, I have set up Apex uh, to uh, what's called learning mastery. And what that means is that you have to score at least a 70% on a quiz to move on. And you only have two attempts to to earn a 70%. If you fail on your second attempt, you're going to have to go all the way back and start over again. And I certainly don't want you to do that. So when you're taking these quizzes, use those, use those study sheets, have them out in front of you, and really take your time and make sure that you're scoring at least a 70% um, every single time that, that, that you do take a quiz. So the quizzes you're always going to take here in Apex. Uh, all of your discussions, some of your reading assignments, and actually some of these study sheets will actually be done in our IA course page. So I'm just going to click on um, this discussion because I want to show you how this is going to work. So you can, of course, you know, you can read all about your discussion here. You can 
print out the study guide for your discussion questions if you want to do like a rough draft. But what you're actually going to do then is you're going to hop back here into our class and you'll see that this assignment is actually here in Canvas. If you see something that's listed in our IA course page here, it's something that you need to do here, not in Apex. So your quizzes, like I said, will be done in Apex, but most of the other work will then be done back here in our IA campus page. So the questions are exactly the same. Uh, I think I've even saved some of the graphics if I can. So exactly what's in here is also um, in our Apex learning section here. It's just that if you do it in Apex, I can't see it. If you do it on our IA course page, I can see it. So you really have two places to look to figure out what you need to do in the IA course page. You can look uh, here at each unit, or my number one suggestion is you use your LPC. LPC stands for Learning Plan Contract, and it outlines everything that you need to do in our class every week. I have a printable version here. It's a PDF. So if you click it, it's going to download this super sweet document that is much more printer friendly. And I recommend that you print this off. And as you turn things in, you either cross them off or you put a big X here in the done column. There's also a column here called turn in. This is a key for you to know where to turn the information in. If you see a C, that stands for Canvas, which is our IA homepage. So C means that you turn it in here, whereas an A means that you do that work in Apex. Um, some of your uh, your your uh, quiz scores will be stored in Apex, and then you're going to actually take a screenshot and bring them over to me so I know what your average score is so they can be recorded here in our IA uh, grade book. You do have a grade book in Apex. Um, I'm not in the student version so I can't show you but there should be a little button uh, right over here just like there is for me uh, instead of uh, settings and I'm not sure what this is and data you're gonna have um, an icon that says grade book. So you can click on your grade book and then uh, see what your quiz scores have been and then you will report them to me back over at, at our IA homepage. Uh, these buttons down here just help you kind of navigate, see further, see further down in, in the course. Uh, but really, that's the most important information that that you need to know. Um, as you're reading, you print out your study sheet. Right, you got this handy uh, little information here. And also, if you get really tired of reading, you can click this button down here, and it will actually read the text of the page to you. When France entered the conflict in America in 1777, pretty cool, right? Uh, so we're really excited uh, about using Apex this year. It's definitely going to be a little bit different for those of you who were with us uh, last year. But if you're new to us this year, this, this is something that, that we are very excited about. Okay, so if you ever have any questions, uh, please send me an email. I would be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, I know it's going to seem a little bit weird at first. Just know Apex Learning is our textbook, and our IA course page is where you actually do the work and, and submit everything. Okay? I'll talk to you guys soon.